Hi, I'm Monika from First Union. I am here to attend the International Trade Union Confederation um, International Youth Training. And I was asked by Stand Up if I could vlog it. So here I am at Universal Studios Singapore outside Jurassic Park. So first of all, enjoy this wee montage of my travel day. Um, that went fine, like no issues at all. It's just incredibly long because I had to go through um, Australia. And then, yeah, today I'm just having some fun. Thank you so much for joining us. I hope you're leaving out to learn more about this incredible species of dinosaur. Disturb my slumber. Oh, where's me? Pinocchio! Oh, we have guests. Hi there, folks. Welcome to Lord Farquaad's castle. Run for your lives! of January and it is the Lunar New Year here in Singapore and I am currently at my hotel. Singapore is quite a hot country but it's not too bad today so I think it's sitting at about 25 degrees. Yesterday was a lot hotter. Today is exciting because I am moving to the hotel where the training will be and apparently it's attached to like a mall and there's a water park and like really cool stuff but as today is a public holiday and tomorrow is a public holiday everything will be closed. The cool thing about today is that I get to meet someone who I'm sharing a room with for the next week who I don't know. So that's kind of exciting. I can't wait to see who I'm actually sharing a room with and getting to hang out with them. <laughs> so there's one person from each country in the Asia Pacific region that gets to attend. So I'm not even sure how many people in total will be there. So we're just waiting to do a load of laundry and then I'll get a taxi to my new place that I'm staying. I can't wait to take you all along on that wee journey. Happy Lunar New Year's! I have just gone to my room at the resort and I found out while I was checking in that I am sharing with someone from Thailand and someone from Japan. But they haven't checked in yet so I'm the first one here. Let's do a quick room tour. So here is outside, and then we come in. We've got a microwave, a sink, a fridge, a wee bathroom, and me, hi. And then we have four beds. <laughs> I'm sharing with two others. And we've got a wee balcony. That's a pretty nice view. And I've decided I'll claim that bed mostly for the reason because there's a power plug <laughs> in the middle which i have unpacked i've done a really good job look my suitcase is on there i've put all my stuff into this straw here i hung up my jackets i got everything ready for tomorrow and i'm charging stuff so go me but anyways no one is still here and i guess um i just had this pent up energy i made little packs so first of all, I've got one of my business cards, just in case I forget to give them my contact details. And then I've got a wee Whitaker's chocolate bar from New Zealand, a wee under eye mask because everyone's flying in, so hopefully that helps. I've got a little first union pen. And I found a bunch of these badges in my office. So one says secure your hours, which secure our hours, which was an old first union campaign. Look, I'm a union woman, I'm union. And this one is the first woman's badge so hopefully they enjoy it i've got the other one here i thought i'd put on the ends of their beds but i don't want to be presumptuous over which beds they chose <laughs> and also culturally speaking i'm not sure it would be good to put food on a bed where your feet are 
is the General Secretary of ITC Asia Pacific, Brother Ajara Khan, who is the President of Jilaf, and the Brother uh, Toshi Saito, who is uh, the Deputy General Secretary of Jilaf. And we are also uh, very much fortunate to have uh, Sister Carol from ITUC. Uh, friends, I will not take much of your time and would request Brother Shoya Khan to initiate the proceedings. Over to you, Brother Shoya Khan. Okay, good morning. So, good morning. welcome to the 15th Youth Leadership Course. Uh, let me see that. So, this is the first face to face meeting of this course you know, since it was held uh, in June 2019. Running, I'll be wanting to hear a lot from you. So, um, don't expect me to, to be telling you the answers. I want to hear from you. So, I'm really looking forward to that. It's great uh, that ITC, AP, uh, GLAF, and the um, OTC Leadership uh, Institute, Labour Institute, have, have been running this program. Mongolia, Southeast Asia, we have a representation from Indonesia, Malaysia, Philippines, Timor Leste, Maldives. Uh, Timor Leste is in South East Asia, I just got back from day one of the International Trade Union Confederation Asia Pacific Region Youth Leadership course. And I just sort of wanted to like brief on each day to give you a bit of an update on what I thought. So my main thoughts from today was that everyone is super amazing. I think a good thing about international experiences is really seeing how other countries are and what happens there because in one session today we were sort of talking about the lack of employment rights, education and schools. For someone from Pakistan to tell me that um, people struggle to even get an education in their country and so I think it sort of puts things into perspective. Like honestly just how hard it can be in other areas of the world so while we're in our own bubble in New Zealand and we see these things that we experience we can then put it into perspective of where we are on a global scale not to say that necessarily changes anything we should always continue to push our governments for better social change but in my own brain I think it puts things into perspective also, everyone was super cool, and I am going to insert a group photo that we took today into this wee clip. Yeah, everyone's just super amazing in their own rights and come from a really diverse range of backgrounds in terms of the work that they do. I'm actually sharing a room with someone from Japan who also looks after retail workers, so that's really cool. Um, because that's what I do in New Zealand. I guess on top of that, like there was one thing really stuck with me today that a researcher had taken the four billion years of human history it was the history of the world was condensed into one year what would that look like and actually we turn up in december on the last day of the year again puts things into perspective of how much time i've actually had on this planet i guess in a way it also makes me think about how much damage we've done in a short time frame which isn't necessarily ideal. Great first day, can't wait to see what happens tomorrow. I'm gonna go check out Ikea because my roommates have gone and lots of things are shot around us and I've never been to an Ikea so why not? I'm in Ikea, I had plant-based meatballs, they were great, 10 out of 10. This is so much stuff, so I'm gonna try and go home. hotel. There's a water park. Here's a walkway to the hotel. And here's a shopping mall. <laughs> I didn't do a wrap up of day two so here it is. Learn heaps. So much. It was really good. Most of our sessions were run by the Japanese Labour Academy which was really interesting. We also had another session from Carol Beaumont who's from New Zealand. 
and she's absolutely amazing. And I also got <laughs> voluntold that I had to join a cultural event planning committee so we ended up planning that too so that's really cool tomorrow i'm about so i'm excited to take you along on that You also happen to be in Singapore at the right time, okay, because we are actually celebrating our Lunar New Year. So that's why on the table you see that there's actually a bag. The reason why we ask you to sit there is because our youth actually are presenting you with like two Mandarin oranges. I hope it's two. Yeah, because usually for Chinese, you know, we believe like double, I mean, double the blessings, double the uh, whatever. Okay, <laughs> so this is the gift for you. Um, but of course, the rest of the gift will come in the sharing later as well. Mm. Alright, so since you are from the youth group, so we decided that actually we should start the day with the youth sharing. But actually, even before that, because it's so early in the morning, we actually have prepared something else as well, which is outside. <laughs> Alright, so you would have walked past. Uh, yeah. Over here. Uh, Sorry. Sorry. Uh, cutlery as well. Morning! It's day three. Today we're visiting Young NTUC, which is the National Trade Union Congress in Singapore. So it's really exciting, but look at their building. It is so nice. I mean, look at this view. That's insane. There's me. Maybe it's just like the metropolitan area because we don't really have that in Christchurch. Everyone on the Yeah, it's not an envelope no, for you to like put some money in. But rather, it's actually an envelope where the elders will actually give to the, the, the children, right? Or the people who are below, um, like their, their relatives basically, the younger relatives, right? Wishing them uh, the luck back to them, giving them blessings. So we will begin today's networking session by welcoming um, our Young NTUC Life Term Chairperson, Sister April Tan, to give us an introduction to what Young NTUC is all about. So can we get a round of applause for Sister April, please? Hi everyone! Sorry I'm the less energetic person after this. <laughs> <laughs> yes, I um, hope you've been having a good time in Singapore, but even have leadership courses that we go through, uh, development programs, and also um, to equip us basically with the knowledge and skills that we need. Chen here with us today. Yes. Yeah. So he's the industrial sector chairperson and co-chairs it with uh, Brother Montero. So basically be by the side of the youth as they navigate through the different phases of their life. So even from the time they were students uh, up to graduating students, that's when we have the, the NIBO arm, it says when, um, nobody enjoys being ordinary, okay? So that's between the ages of 12 to 25 or until they basically go to their first full-time job as a working adult. And then they transit into the young working people, that's where they uh, go under young NTC, and then even as, as they are uh, age and you know, come on, young NTC, will still continue to be represented by the unions and NTC as well. You need to resign from, job, from their jobs, but then yeah, you have that insecurity and uncertainty. If you resign, then what next? You know, so there's a lot of like different kind of stress going on. So the past two and a half years have been really rough. Top three challenges that uh, came out from the survey, you know, amongst many others, are the career opportunities. And uh, basically, career opportunities are, you know, whether you you be concerned whether you, there'll still be availability of the job, the kind of jobs that you want to, to do, you know, um, and finances, you know, uh, as living expenses go up, cost of living go up, you know, how are we going to manage that? Parents even start collecting rents from their kids, you know. Uh, 
All right, sisters and brothers, before we go on any further, I realized that I forgot to introduce myself. <laughs> right, so my name is Wilson, and I'm a secretary for Young and UC. So together with my colleagues, Nadaline and Dawson, um, we are the people who will support our leaders. Hi, I'm Poon from the Japan International Labour Foundation Thailand office. Hi, I'm from Japan, Hazuki. Um, everyone knows who I am, but these are my roommates and we're just visiting the International Trade Union Confederation Asia Pacific Region office. So that's exciting and there's the logo right there. Yay. The guys are taking their selfie. <laughs> everyone's yeah, posing with it. <laughs> Go ahead and check. Show the shops here. I want to go to the temple. Oh, yeah. 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 Inside? Yeah. What's inside? It's in the here. What is it? Temple. Channel 8 News in Singapore filming in Chinatown We haven't actually vlogged today at all, so Aww. say hi! <laughs> I did not post much yesterday at all. I did not film anything. Pretty much the reasons for that is yesterday's topics were quite heavy. So yesterday we covered gender equality or inequality. Um, inequality as a whole, we covered gender-based violence. Um, in the break, some of us females were talking about the struggles that we face in our own country still and it's just not good. We were also told that if countries continue to do not much about these issues and fixing the gender pay gap, that it will take 236 years to fix these things at the trajectory we're currently following. So I think that was a bit shocking. Everyone had put like 23 years, so that was a bit depressing. So we didn't really post much and then after that we had a youth panel from more stricken countries that have struggled with democracy. Those countries were the Ukraine, Afghanistan and Myanmar. And I think like one thing I will share is that the panelist from Ukraine, while she was talking to us, a bomb went out off in the distance outside of her house. And Pasha, who's sort of in charge of us at this, you know, training, he had said, do you want to take a break? Like, please take a break. And she um, picked up her laptop, walked herself to her wardrobe, sat down and said, no, I'll continue because I don't know what will happen next. And after talking to some people afterwards, I think that hit a lot of people. So it was just a very heavy day. Afterwards, we did go to a bar and have a couple of drinks, just to sort of debrief. Yeah, that's why I didn't really post a whole lot for day four. It was also just jam-packed. We were going from quarter to nine in the morning until about six o'clock at night. It was a jam-packed day of information. But today it's day five. We have some sunshine, which is so nice. Um, and it's the last day of the course. 
So I'm excited to head into the last day of the course. I can't believe it's over already. I think after day two, I was like, wow, we've been here so long. And now it's day five. I'm like, this has just been over so fast. And I think this course used to be two weeks long. So I think my recommendation is that it goes back to two weeks long because we've learned a lot but every single day could have been split into two days. But it's just me touching in. Okay. So this is some of the um, strategies that our group has come up with. So first of all, we need to familiarize the future workers um, about what unions is and what they can benefit them as a worker when they um, finish school and join the workforce. So yeah, educate students and also workers, joint workers, young workers, new workers about you have to connect with your team members. I assume that you meant having more practice, having more practice to improve the qualities that you have. Because you can go for a lot of trainings, right? For example, if you talk about communication, you can have all the training and workshops in terms of uh, how to communicate with your members. But the practice part, I think, is also important. <laughs> okay, we are live. You are on the video. <laughs> own union at the enterprise or community or national level and by sharing your effort with your friend who you met in Singapore improving together and encouraging each other providing feedback jointly on each other's efforts you can share a stronger sense of solidarity so you are the one who should shape a future work you want, but we want. It is difficult to ascertain what meaning and purpose work will have for individual and also for society as a whole. Where will jobs come from and what will they be like? See, in the last few years, we have seen the drastic increase in the so-called uh, platform workers in the area of delivery or cleaning or any other professional uh, and personal services. And uh, how will work this work be organized or covered? We don't have any clear answer at this moment right in front of us. The first one is to give in to fear and succumb to anxiety that risk taking society down a path that upset decades of social, economic, and environmental progress. The second one is to confront this challenge. We are now at the challenge in America, digitalization, climate change, COVID-19, and uh, backsliding democracy. Uh, democracy. So, second part is to confront these challenges and be proactive in developing policy and strategy. So, basically, thank you very much for having us. We are very happy to be here with all of you. We wish you all the best in your career as well as your union leadership journey. Thank you. From participants, thank you, thanks a lot uh, to Mr. Jackman. And uh, from the participants, if anyone you wants to say something, please. Last words from the participants. You're pointing at me. Yeah. <laughs> 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 First, I would like to thank you for giving us this opportunity for attending this uh, course, which we really, really like it and love it. And I enjoyed these five days meeting the new people, the new friends. We feel that we are between our family. We didn't feel that we are far away from our house. Thank you very much.
Can I make a comment? Uh, as a secretary of the GDAF, uh, such a nice, nice opportunity to have a ch uh, to share information with you and learn a lot of new things with you together. Uh, it was so nice, and you are the already young promising leader uh, towards bright future. Thank you so much with us. So, thanks to all of you, I would also like to express my gratitude to Jila, to OTCI, my colleagues in IQC Asia Pacific. Uh, my special thank to Rosanna, who is uh, very supportive. <laughs> I would also like to express my gratitude to um, uh, my other colleagues uh, like Padwan, uh, then Anna, as well as uh, uh, Joy, who took the session. And uh, Brother Toshi is sitting over here, so my thanks to him as well. And of course, Brother Shreya Sassan, under whose leadership we are able to do such kind of activities. Uh, friends, I would also like to thank uh, one of my old colleagues, uh, Sister Chico, uh, who was uh, with ITCAP and uh, she, she was my predecessor. So whatever the activities which I uh, uh, am able to, uh, which I was able to conduct it, uh, I must say that uh, she has created a very good folder. She put all the information in that folder. So by uh, taking up her help, uh, uh, I was able to do this activity, so my thanks to her also, Sister Kiko. Uh, friends, definitely it has been an incredible journey and I hope you will keep in touch and I wish all of you best of luck. And I could see that all of you are going back and uh, will be like uh, 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 leader because we had seen in the past that those who have attended, attended uh, the programs they are leading their organization. So what Brother Shwara has said, uh, uh, Brother Shwara has said, I uh, recreated uh, 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 codes that definitely uh, this is the program uh, where you are talking about uh, the future and uh, you are the future, you are the present, and you are going to achieve whatever you want. So with these words, I will. Uh, Say so thanks to all of you. And uh, yeah, you can clap. Woo! And yes, uh, we have a certificate for you as well as a group photo uh, for you. So, how we are going to proceed, uh, Rose? Group, you know. Oh, no worries. How do we hold it? Like, yes. One, two, three. Mohammed Amjad Khan. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Thank you. The end of the week is over just like that, and I just said bye to my roommates. So, Hazuki and Poon, and it was just a little bit emotional saying goodbye to everyone. I think we had a cultural event, like a dinner event last night after the final day, and I was tasked with organizing that, and everyone shared from their cultures. You all are doing an origami plane. The plane is widely known as the masterpiece of the origami.
film du TikTok. Cheers. Into karaoke. that sort of stuff and like we're probably down there till like 10 10 30. and some people went to the bar and some people drank in our room it's nice to meet like-minded people from around the world it's nice to see so many cultures sort of merge together in like a very short time like a five days isn't that long but i think five days here I don't know, they're just lifelong friends that I've made, so it's been really sad. <laughs> um, but I sort of wanted to film this to, I guess, have my final reflections on the youth leadership course. I think I will film another video just talking about the things that I've learned because I took a lot of notes. I leave Singapore tomorrow night, so I'm still going to go see a bit of Singapore today and I'll take you along on that and then I fly out tomorrow night so I've still got 24 hours to explore so I do want to do that because I don't just want to sit in my room by myself and feel sad that I don't have roommates anymore and I think like that contrasting to the start of the week where I was like really worried to have roommates is just very different but this course was really well done it was organized by the international trade union confederation in the asia pacific region it was also organized by the japanese labor foundation and it was also organized by i think it's called Ongchi education here in singapore Altogether, it was just a very valuable course we learned a lot about different aspects of life like one of the main takeaways was just hearing from other people's experiences and seeing what they do in their countries and see the struggles that they've dealt with. You don't always get to talk to people about what they're doing in their country and you don't always hear about these things. And so it's put a lot of things into perspective, but it's also given me a lot of ideas on how to show international solidarity going into the future. And it's also given me a lot of links to do that, so yeah <laughs> super cool i'm super lucky to have come and i guess i just want to thank stand up in new zealand for having selected me to attend because i think at this stage in my union journey this was really needed i think at the start of this i was feeling pretty burnt out and low energy and not sure how long i could continue and i think after this i am feeling motivated and inspired to keep going and so i guess it's just riding the waves <laughs> and i wouldn't be surprised if this is one of my highs for the whole year i feel like i've peaked i feel like we can't get much better <laughs> but i'm gonna pack up all my things and then i'm on to my next hotel so we stayed at a place called D Resort at downtown Eastern Singapore and I am not doing a tour because it's raining. <laughs> but I think like I've sort of filmed enough of like different places. I filmed reception, I filmed outside and I filmed the rooms. It's pretty nice. Apparently it's where locals come to holiday here. And then just over here is a water park that union members get it discounted. And then also just over there, there's a shopping mall. Last night. 
I'm back in New Zealand and Bray got me flowers which was really nice. I'm just waiting for my doggie. Hi Papa! <laughs> <laughs> 